Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals and this is a video request for some of my beautiful subscribers who wanted me to show more ideas for using the Daphne's Diary magazine, which is my favourite magazine. So I am going to be making some envelopes and pockets out of magazine pages. Uh, but before I get into that and show you how I go about doing that, um, I just want to share my favorite ways of using the magazine, which is to make journals. And I do have many tutorials and process videos, start to finish videos showing how I make these journals. I feature the cover for the cover of my journals and I'm actually using this one for a free journal course that I'm running on my channel, which is a list journal course just kind of give you a look at how I use one as well because I get lots of questions about not only how I make Daphne's diary journals but how do I use them how do I journal in them how do I fill them up so this is one way you can do it and I have been loving using this journal for this course and oh, look at that page isn't that stunning 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 so that's one way I like to use the magazine just to make a journal uh, another way is to cut out pages, cut out images and words and use them for your own journaling, for collage, for backgrounds, as ephemera, as decoration for your pages, as prompts. So this is another journal that I put together. It's an altered book journal, but I used a Daphne's diary page to decorate the cover. I just love this cover so much. This is also a Daphne's diary page and basically I use images from the magazine and words, all of these are from Daphne's diary magazine, all of it to decorate this page. And there's other pages that I've got here. Uh, this one's Daphne's diary. Uh, let's see, this one's Daphne's diary. That, uh, sorry, that piece there is Daphne's diary. Um, I use a mixture of different pages and magazines. This one is from Daphne's Diary. So you can see that that's from Daphne's Diary. That's from Daphne's Diary. <laughs> you can see that I love using um, the magazine to journal with. And I'm just trying to see if there's any other examples. See, that's from Daphne's Diary. That's from Daphne's Diary. That word gold gave me a prompt. So yeah, really, really fun. Okay, these are from Daphne's diary. All of this is from Daphne's diary. So that's just how I like to use the magazine. They're my favorite ways. They are, in fact, the only ways I use them. <laughs> I don't actually do anything else with them. I um, am only doing this because it is a specific, a specific <laughs> subscriber request. So I don't normally do this. So, um, but I just want to give you some other ideas to meet that request and I love pockets and envelopes so I thought why not go through the magazine and we will make some uh, pockets and envelopes together and I'll just show you how I kind of work with the page to do that so I, I like this image here I am going to turn this into a pocket so I'm going to fold that up there I'm going to match my straight edges together so that I know it is, um, you know, straight edged there. But then I kind of just eyeball it. So do I want something like that? I think I do. I'll go straight there. So that will give me a pocket here with the caravans. And then this will also give me a pocket. And you can experiment and play around with things like how wide you make your pocket, how tall you make your pocket. Um, and I will just stitch that down here, down here, down here, take them to my sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, of course you can glue it or washi tape it or use masking tape to shut those closed. Um, this one here, I like this element here. So I'm just going to find where I want my pocket by folding it where I want to catch the image on the front. And then I'll use this side straight edge as a guide 
to keep it straight. And then I'm going to cut the edges. And I'm going to use the layout of the page to help me cut them as straight as possible. And, oh, <laughs> you know what I've done? I've done it the wrong way. I was supposed to cut that edge there. That is okay, we can make it work. So this is where I would, <laughs> I would sew along here uh, sorry, what am I doing? I would just cut off the top and now I can just sew down there, down there, down there. So I wouldn't actually have cut that usually. I would have take to, take it to my sewing machine first and sewn around and then trimmed off the top just so it won't move. But just showing you for the sake of this video that if you make a mistake like I did and you cut the wrong spot, same thing with the envelopes. If you cut the side of the envelopes accidentally, uh, you can still sew up the rest. That's the great thing about, well, using anything, glue, um, washi tape, whatever. And you can then trim that wherever you need to. And it doesn't matter if you accidentally trim an edge, you can close it up at the end. <laughs> There's another little tip. Okay. Here, whoops. Here I would like to do this pocket. And we will try not to make the same mistake. I'm gonna match up this edge here so it's straight. This time, oh, yeah, I'm gonna cut down here first, I think. Then I'm going to cut down here, use these lines as guides. And that's what I'm getting wrong. I'm folding it in the wrong way. Okay, okay, we've got this, you guys. There we go. <laughs> this is just when you're not sure how to use the page, where to make you fold. One thing to be conscious of is, you know, um, keeping the image so it's at the top. If that image was down the bottom, um, you can still turn it into a pocket, but by the way you fold it, you want the image here so that it's kind of centered there. Again, I'm just going to fold it here and all that's doing, that's not doing any pocket or anything. Now what I should be doing is just trimming that straight off the top because now I'm isolating <laughs> the image that I want on the front of the pocket. Now I can match up my straight edge. Okay, good. <laughs> this is the benefit of doing a process video because you get to see um, what to avoid doing. Okay, so it's a little bit wonky. But you can just trim, trim, trim. Obviously, if you have a paper cutter, you can use that. Or if you have um, sorry, I'm just I can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> if you want, you can measure that exactly. To, if you want straight, I'm not fussed about that. I am cool just to put wherever. So this one is a good example now of one where I can just fold it directly at the top. No need to cut off anything at the top of the image. I will cut the excess off, but there's my fold already done. And then I'm just going to make some deep pockets. So some deeper pockets. I'll just cut that a little bit there. You can stitch around that. Okay, just trim that a little bit here. And then we've got some deeper pockets. So that's kind of how I make my pockets. Just got to remind myself to attach that together again when I take it to my sewing machine. Now let's make some envelopes. Same sort of deal. Let's use this. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm looking at the page and I want to catch this one as 
the front of my envelope. So I'm going to fold that up like that. And then I will just trim that here. And then I want to trim that. So that will be my flap. Like that. So where it comes to something like this, I can't make an envelope here because, oh, actually I can. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm just going to trim this. So I could turn that into a pocket, but I'm going to make an envelope. I think I just want to trim that down a bit so I can get a decent flap. And then I can trim that. So I'm just thinking about what I want on the front of my pocket, what I want on the front of my envelope, and then folding it so that that piece is on the front. So depending on the layout of the page, you're not always going to be able to get what you want on the front. Okay, so there's another envelope. And then obviously I'll just take that to my sewing machine and I will stitch down here, down here, down there. I can see that's not matching up perfectly. So we'll cut that one out. Cool. That's a beautiful one with butterflies. These are gorgeous ones here. Lovely, lovely. Love that page. So I might actually save these pages for my, for journal pages when I come to make some journals. And yeah, I will put those aside so I remember I've got those. When I've got something different on the inside that I might want to cover, that's when I can turn it into a pocket. So here I will do an envelope to, again to show you. And I'm going to use these words as a guide as to where to cut. And then I'm going to fold over that flap. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim everything up. Mm, I can tell I'm not doing a very good job of this one. And then, do I want it there? I think we can do a long envelope. It's because I've got the flap a little bit lopsided. <laughs> a little tip, start out bigger than you need so that if you do need to cut more, you're not ending up with a tiny, tiny little envelope. <laughs> And you can make your flap longer, narrower, whatever suits you. Okay, so I've got like a, a wider envelope here. And yeah, I will stop there. That pretty much gives you an idea how I make some envelopes out of the beautiful, beautiful pages and some pockets very very simple it's just a matter of finding the image that you want to feature on the front and then going about folding it and cutting it so that you can have it the way you want it and then just add the stitching or the adhesive and yeah how would i use these um, you could even just directly sew these into a journal on the page for example you can instead of stitching it and then sticking it in a journal. You can get your journal page um, before you bind it and stitch it directly to the page. And then you have like a pocket there and your pocket there. Same with this. You could, if you wanted, stitch it directly to the page and have a double pocket. But if I already have them stitched, I would tend to include them with a paper clip onto the page. So I would slip them on with a paper clip. Now, like I said before, 
this is not what I like doing with Japanese diary journals. I just like making my own journals out of them and using them for my own personal journaling. I do not make embellished Japanese diary journals. It's just not something that I want to do. <laughs> I've done them in the past, um, but I love just the pages as they are blank. That's how I use them. And so that's how I make them. Uh, but these are just some ideas. If you are, are inclined to want to make um, embellished Daphne's Diary journals or to make embellishments out of Daphne's Diary, these are just a couple of simple ideas. Um, obviously, you can also feature these onto tags. You know, I use Manila folder to make my tags. So I would just glue a Daphne's Diary page onto Manila folder, say this one and then cut it into tags. That is another way you could use the pages. Uh, you don't have to cut them into tags, you could cut them into journal cards. Use manila folder as well and turn them into manila folder journal cards. Maybe I'll do that in a different video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.